0% financing. Is it a great deal or is it just another car dealer trick to get you to spend more money than you should on a new car? That's the burning question we're going to look at today. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you in part by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our super high intensity training for car buyers. If you like the Homework Guy videos, check the merch shelf down below if you want to get one of these cool shirts or hoodies like this one. Today we're going to talk about 0% financing offered by automakers and car dealers. Is this a good deal for a car buyer? We'll dig right into that question right after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers, and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question, or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. For many car buyers, an auto loan without interest can sound like a story too good to be true. But is there a catch? The truth is there are several catches, and you should know that car buyers routinely make mistakes when they accept one of these 0% financing offers. First, let's talk about 0% financing and what it is. The simple answer, the dealer, most often through the automaker, is offering to lend you money for a new car without charging you any interest fees over the life of the loan. This can feel like an act of charity. After all, interest rates on car loans can cost you thousands of dollars. However, before you start thinking this selfless act deserves your significant appreciation, let's look at how the dealership is benefiting from you taking this deal. Number one, vehicle selection. Just because a car is being offered with a 0% loan offer doesn't mean it's the right car for you. Quite often, it's not. Typically, the most popular vehicles and new models are not available with 0% financing. The most desirable vehicles are generally only offered with 0% financing when car sales are bad everywhere on all models. That's when you see the 0% offers come out, like when the pandemic hit. In other words, most of the time your choices for 0% financing will be the cars that aren't selling well at all. Also be aware that the vehicle selection will change every month or quarter depending on the automaker. So if it's 0% that you're after, be sure to research whether or not you can get 0% on the car you actually want. Number two, here's something you're not likely to hear from a car dealer. Even if you are getting a 0% offer from an automaker, you can and should negotiate the price of the car. Of course, You'll have to invest some time haggling back and forth, but the money you save will make it worthwhile in the long run. But it's still worth it. Even if it takes two hours to negotiate the price down to $2,000, don't let that frustrate you. After all, when was the last time you made $1,000 an hour? Before you ever go to the dealer, as in all cases, you should have done your homework on how much you should pay for the vehicle. We've done a video on this channel titled, how much do dealers pay for new cars to help you nail down their costs? So I won't get lost in the weeds on that now. Just go check out the video. Oftentimes, dealers will inflate the price of a vehicle to make up for the lost income on 0% interest. It's also more likely that incentives and rebates will be forfeited in order for you to accept 0% financing. This can make it more difficult to negotiate a lower price, but a reputable dealer will allow you to negotiate the best possible deal before the 0%. Watch the bottom line and don't leave money on the table. Number three, trade-in. There's a bad trend going on in the car business with trade-ins. Currently around 44% of new car sales involve a trade with negative equity. That is mind-boggling, but it's something most people are completely unaware of because being upside down in your car doesn't necessarily cause problems while you own the car. However, when it comes to trading it in, you put yourself at risk financially. If you're getting a 0% financing deal, many car buyers are likely to just roll that negative equity into the new loan. And you should know what that means. You're upside down immediately in the new car. And you'll be upside down for a long time to come. Sorry to offend some of you, but that's just stupid. Paying the previous loan off may not be what you want to do, but you'll be in a much better position if you pay off the remainder of the previous loan. Seriously. Don't pretend you're the government who can just keep pushing a bad debt down the road. It never gets better. If you're trading, have you considered just selling your current car private party? It will net you the most money and help you cancel most or all of that negative equity I just mentioned. 
If you're still going to exercise poor judgment and trade in a car with negative equity, well, look it up in the KBB book values of your trade. Most cars are in good condition, not great or excellent. Use the Homer Guy formula to get the target trade-in value to negotiate for low trade value, good condition plus $100. Some of you would do better or worse, but if you negotiate your trade as an entirely separate transaction from the new car, well, wait them out just like you did on the price of the new car, and you'll have a much better chance of getting top dollar on your trade. Number four, cash down. Cash down is always a big deal. Don't skimp on the down payment just because you're getting 0%. Dealers will commonly give you the option to put nothing down at signing, but don't fall for that. We recommend you put 20% down or more, or as close as you can get to that figure to offset depreciation. You might say you can't manage that much, but by saying so, you're telling us that you can afford the car you're trying to buy. You might be thinking you can just get gap insurance or new car replacement insurance from your insurance company or the dealer, but that's the thinking of a fool. You get to pay for a $1,000 policy, adding even more expense to a car you can afford, which is a lot like adding insult to injury. Number five, loan payment and term. It used to be that everyone recommended something known as 20-4-10. Make a 20% down payment, take a four-year loan, spend no more than 10% of your budget on all vehicle expenses, including maintenance and insurance. How many of you are doing that? With 0% interest financing, car buyers often forget about the down payment. They don't think much about the loan term, which is why many get sucked into a 72 or 84 month 0% loan. And then they ignore the cost of ownership, which includes expenses, maintenance, and insurance. Instead, car buyers who take the 0% financing deals commit one of the biggest errors in car buying, which is focusing on the monthly payment. Number six, finance office. 0% financing is offered as a way to get customers in the door, and you could be the target of a potential bait and switch. Even though 0% financing is real, it can often be quite difficult to qualify for one of those loans. The fine print on the automaker websites often say things like, for qualified buyers, or based on tier one credit, something which applies to only 10% of car buyers. While they don't strictly say your lower credit score can't qualify, the chances of making it into that 10% are much lower than if you had excellent credit. It's still worth looking into even if you have a lower credit score, but you have to be aware of what I just said. Dealers are just trying to get you into the door and into the finance office where they make the real bucks. The only people who get the deal are the ones the dealership thinks will pay on time. If you have a debt to income ratio that is a little too high, that will also factor into whether you qualify. By being choosy about who gets the deal, Car makers can ensure the temporary interest rate discount is both low risk and profitable. The finance office will also try to roll you into optional extras, like overpriced products, lots of insurance types, and of course, lots of fake fees. And since most car buyers are focused on a monthly payment, they'll stretch the loan term to make these added expenses fit into the monthly payment you're making the mistake of focusing on. Before you sign anything, make sure to read over the terms of the 0% loan. This is big, so pay attention. Some terms state the dealer can move to a default interest rate if you make a single loan payment. That's just one loan payment. If you make a single one late. And the interest rate you can end up paying will typically be much higher than the market average. It's also possible that the 0% interest rate won't cover the life of the loan. It's important to be aware of it if that's the case. Now that you know what 0% financing is, Let's take a look at a few scenarios that could point to 0% financing simply not being a good deal at all. Let's take a look at a low-end vehicle. A $20,000 car with a 0% financing offer for 48 months could be paid off in four years. Without added products and fees, the monthly payment is $416. At a local bank or credit union, you could easily get a car loan interest rate around the national average of 3.45%. Over four years, That would be a $447 monthly payment, just $29 a month more. However, here's where it gets interesting. By using a traditional car loan instead of 0% financing, you'll be able to use the new car rebates to your advantage, something you typically can't do with 0% financing. If this car has a $2,500 cashback rebate, the amount you're financing would drop to $17,500. Using the 3.45% interest rate from your credit union, 
your monthly payment would be $391 a month, $25 a month less per month. And the amount paid for the car over the life of the loan would be $18,760. Simple math shows you'd save more than $1,200 by taking the credit union loan with the 3.45% interest instead of 0% financing. Make sense? Bottom line, before you lock yourself into 0% financing at the dealership, compare car loan offers from banks and private lenders to see if they offer terms that, when combined with rebates, are better suited to you. If you do the math just as we did, you might find that 0% financing isn't a great deal after all. If you learned something today and appreciated the video, consider giving us that big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the Homer guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks with the tip, the PayPal and Cash App links you see appearing on the screen here will be easy to find in that description box down below. No problem if you can't do a tip. You can say thanks by sharing our videos with your family and friends and continue encouraging others to subscribe here as well. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer on the channel. We appreciate everything you do to help us get the word out and defeat the bad guys in the car business who still haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care.